Hello everyone and welcome to an especially based episode of Lit Bashing. Welcome to Lit Bashing, where the L stands for Legions, the I stands for Imperialis, and the to bashing stands for Kit Bashing. Today I've spent a few hours with my paint collection and a colour wheel trying to come up with a few simple, easily replicable, but effective bases to make your tiny minis pop. Space-wise, so much of a Legion's Imperialis model is base, so not only is it important that it looks, well, good, but it's also important it complements and contrasts with the epic scale minis atop it. I've narrowed the selection down to five different base themes, which, between them, I believe can make every Legion stand out like the proud soldiers they are. For the wintry industrial base, start with an all-over cover of Ironbreaker. You could use Lead Belcher here, but as the legions we'll be using on these bases are all quite dark, a lighter base will help them to pop against it. By the same token, shade the whole base with Seraphim Sepia or Skeleton Horde. Again, this is to make sure the base isn't too dark, and also gives the metal a slightly yellowish-brown tint, which will clash nicely with the black and dark blues of the legions. Just in the very deepest cracks, Make sure to block the camera entirely and add a line of Agrax Earthshade. After this, a heavy dry brush of Ironbreaker will take the flat areas back up to the mid-tone. Finally, a much less heavy dry brush of Runefang Steel mixed with Corax White will give the effect of edge highlighting the metal plates. The addition of white will dull the shine of the metals too, as too shiny a base will distract from the minis. Finally, add Valhalla Blizzard to taste, remembering you're working in Epic. A nice ankle-deep mound of snow on a 28mm mini will fully cover your 8mm, so you may need to press it down with a clean finger. Most of the legions I've picked for this scheme are dark armoured, and stand out nicely with the light base. Except for the Space Wolves, they blend in, but blending in with the snow is sort of what the Sons of Russ are supposed to do, so I think the fluff wins out here. For your legions allying with the Mechanicum's homeworld, start with an all-over base of Scrag Brown and then an all-over wash of Fuegan Orange. Similarly to the last base, thin lines of Agrax will pick out the deepest cuts. Dry brush with Jakaira Orange quite heavily to bring out that orange shade in the flat areas. And finally, a light dry brush with Fire Dragon Bright and Wraith Bone Mix. That's hard to say. A Fire Dragon Bright and Wraith Bone Mix, about 50-50. This will just pick out those edges and put on a nice finish. The ready orange particularly clashes with the blue and green armours, making them very visible. Even the Night Lords there, who I changed my mind after filming that they should have snow bases. It also brings out the red and orange spot colours of World Eaters and Salamanders. While seemingly quite a niche colour for a base, it's amazing how versatile it is amongst the legions. This is the favourite base of my experimenting. Straight onto your grey primer, pick out a few random patches for Deathworld Forest. Then give another layer of auric flesh just to brighten it up. After this, an all overwash of Athonian camo shade. As before, feel free to use some Agrax for the deepest regions. Dry brush quite heavily all over with Deepkin Flesh, and then bring back those green areas up to Auric Flesh once more. Finally, a medium dry brush of Wraithbone to pick out the edges and blend in the greens. And you end up with this lovely Ancient Ruins type base, with a yellow and green palette that will complement the red and purple legions very sexily. It's particularly fluffy for the zealous word bearers and pseudo-Egyptian Thousand Sons, Though, to be honest, I reckon this would look great on every legion, except perhaps Death Guard. For our lightest legions, we need our darkest base. Over a base coat of Incubi Darkness, give an all over wash of Celia Green Shade. Then put a couple of splashes of Druchi Violet. Once dry, quite a heavy dry brush of Thunderhawk Blue and a medium dry brush of Rust Grey. And finally, a very light dry brush of Deepkin Flesh. This base is arguably best just for the scars and fists, but they do look damn good on it. For 
for our metals, something different. And by different, I mean the oldest base in the book. Over a base coat of Thondia brown, or any brown really, give an all-over wash of Agrax Earthshade, then a dry brush of Xandri Dust, then finally a light dry brush of Wraithbone. No nonsense base, this one. Well suited to the Iron 4th and 10th. The fun thing about brown is that it clashes in a way that's almost imperceivable against black and grey metals. That's why brown leather tends to have brass buckles, and you should never wear a brown belt with a black suit. In our case, however, it means our stoic stalwarts can feel right at home while standing clear as day from three feet away. And there we have it. Every Legion based. This was the first video where I actually consumed Hobby to make it. As in, as fun as it was, I'm not going to use all these individual shattered legions in-game. So this was just for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and consider joining my Patreon where I will be raffling off models like these which aren't part of my own armies, as well as some behind the scenes and DMs open for advice or chat. It's the best way to make sure I can continue to have consumable hobby to spend on my adoring fans. Uh, thank you so much to regular backer Edvin, as well as new backers Warsmith Wolf, Sven, Enric, Guardsman, Miku, and Bradley. You're all absolute stars, and you're the only reason I was able to afford to make this video in the first place. It's all very humbling. And thank you again to everyone else for watching and subscribing. The numbers keep climbing. I'm incredibly humbled by it all. Lord knows what's going on. I think it just shows how hungry we all are for epic content. Merry Christmas when it gets to you. Peace and love. And keep on lid bashing.